What is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Kiara Tashe. Back with another video for you guys today. For all the new subscribers, welcome to my channel and go ahead and subscribe and put that notification bell so you know anytime I upload a video. And for my returning subscribers, hey, my loves. But in today's video, I will be giving you an update on my one year natural hair growth. Um, this is how my hair is after a year and I would say a year and two months because I started growing my hair back in September I want to say so September I started growing my hair back it was very short I'm gonna insert a picture for you guys so you guys can see where I <laughs> grew up from like it it took a while honestly I'm saying you have to understand your hair texture you have to understand what your hair needs and what it doesn't want okay so a lot of people know that when you're going natural you know you have to cut out a lot of chemical based products you have to kind of maintain your hair a little bit more often than you would do if you had relaxed hair i've been natural since high school since i was like actually no i would say honestly since like my since my eighth grade of middle school i think i've been natural for that long like i started transitioning around that time and i went fully natural so pretty much my whole high school life to now, which I am 21 for the ones that don't know, I'm in college now and I've been natural for over like six years, but it's just, I've been cutting my hair over time whenever I feel like I just needed a new change or, you know, just, I just wanted to grow my hair and become healthier because I feel like I was on a good track and knowing my mom couldn't do my hair as often, I had to learn how to do my own. So I just switched to a lot of natural hair products. I have low porosity hair and you know it's hard for my hair to take in moisture it's like i have buildup on my hair you know what i mean like it doesn't know how to kind of retain the moisture in when i put it on it just sits on your hair if anyone knows what i'm talking about i'm still learning because i'm trying to get into that natural hair community to where i can understand you know my hair texture what it means to have low um porosity hair and how it means to not be able to retain moisture in my hair or it gets dry really easily for me my hair gets dry pretty easily um, unless I keep it in a protective style where when I do like a twist out or a braid out or a tweed out, um, I keep it in for like three or four days and then I'll wear it into like a twist out. Like this was a tweed out. So I went from a braid and then I twisted the ends and this is like on day three and I puffed it out. It could have had a little bit more definition, but I puffed it out just because I like it, the volume. I like volume and definition, but in this case, I kind of wanted more volume especially like i just love how my puff is shaped around my head so it just gives it that that thickness natural look and i love that but yeah basically what i did is i just took care of my hair i did a lot of deep conditions please guys if you don't take anything else from this video please deep condition okay deep condition is so essential it keeps your hair moisturized it helps kind of retain the moisture that your hair needs and it, it renews your hair when your hair is damaged or you haven't combed your hair in about one or two weeks or you need help with detangling that deep condition will i'm telling you it will renew your hair your curls will look so fresh and defined and shiny and you can try different ones um lately i've been using shea moisture um and then i've been using talia wahid and i love the talia wahid that one has the honey banana in it my curl pattern it's a little complicated to honestly understand it's like i want to say 4a honestly 4a 4b um like my curl pattern is really pretty once it's wet it's shiny and it's defined but it's like that shrinkage oh that shrinkage it's like dang like my hair cannot retain that length but that's just natural hair every natural girl understands that that you can retain your length a little bit but that shrink is gonna always happen especially when your hair is dried up especially in a wash and go your hair looks so long and then it shrinks up but it still looks pretty because your curls are very defined but i just did deep conditions i make sure i shampoo my hair at least every week shampooing doesn't dry out your hair when you're putting in the leave-in in a deep conditioner but to keep your hair clean or if you're a person that uses products a lot like you do a lot of wash and goes a lot of gel puffs ups i would honestly recommend at least once a week you know I'm slowly starting to become two times a week when I have the time, but once a week for me is like the men, the bare minimum. 
because my hair needs to stay clean and I like to do different styles if I can you know I'm trying to get into learning how to do these little nice little braid styles and twist out styles so that I can my hair can be versatile I'm not always wearing a puff or a twist out all the time but please guys you know just just try to keep your hair moisturized and retained um, I do I do take hair vitamins every now and then, like the hair, skin, and nail vitamins. I will take those. I feel like that was helped me improve my hair growth a little bit quicker. Um, you can take those. I usually take the Nature Bounty kind, the capsules, or you can take the gummies. But I feel like the capsules are a little bit more efficient just because it has more biotin in it. If you're not allergic to biotin, then that will work perfectly. I don't know everybody. Some people said that they don't, they can't really take anything that has biotin in it. So I would recommend those for the ones that is allergic or might be sensitive to it. But for me, I don't have any problems. I don't have any um, allergic reactions to anything. So I pretty much can take almost anything. It just depends on how my body is going to take, take to it. Um, and I just, honestly, I just kept my hair in protective styles. Honestly, I don't do protective styles like all year round. Like literally, I let my hair breathe. When I tell you, because it's time consuming, it's also money. You always need to have money when you're getting your hair done unless you can do it yourself, which I'm not really into that yet. So I pay someone to do my hair. So for me, I have to put money aside to be like, okay, I want my hair done. I will leave my braids in for like two and a half months or like my fox locks that I had in my other videos. I left those in for like two and a half months just because, you know, you can't really tell how bad your new growth is because it looks natural in the in the protective style a little bit unless you let it get too bad. I would say past two and a half to three months with protective styles like that, it's time to take them out because you need to wash your hair. Even when I have a, protect a protective style in, I tend to at least wash my hair at least once throughout that that whole two months or at least once or twice. It just depends because when you wash it, it will get frizzy unless you know how to maintain it or re, you know, do a touch up for yourself. I don't pay for touch ups because once I take it out, I take it out. So it's <laughs> I let my money get well spent with that hairstyle. But protective styles do help. It's just for me, you have to make sure your hair does breathe. Because because you have tension when you get protective styles, it does be too tight on your scalp and your hair follicles. So you do need to let those breathe for your hair to even grow and continue to grow and for it to stimulate the hair growth. Okay? Um, but yes, I would re definitely recommend hairstyles. I usually get braids, you know, stuff like that. Or you can wear wigs, get your hair braided down and just wear a wig. A lot of females now in this world they're starting to just go to wigs now because you can take it off when you want to oil your scalp or redo the braids after you know a week or two it just depends it's, it's your preference honestly on how you want your hair done or how you can maintain it because everyone does some people get lazy and everyone isn't as up to beat with their hair as they should be so don't <laughs> don't get kind of like you know scared to try different things or be scared to be like okay I, I want to do this today with my hair and see how it turns out it's like a trial and error thing honestly when you're when you're doing natural styles and you're doing natural things for your hair and transitioning over it's it's practice so just get into it I promise you guys my hair has never been as healthier until now because I really started taking the time out to do my hair okay like I take the time out to deep condition for 30 minutes I take the time to tangle my hair without ripping my hair or breaking my hair or pulling on it please do not pull on your hair because that means you're breaking your ends and please try to get a trim at least once or twice a year now for me that's what I recommend but I did not get a trim for a whole year guys throughout my hair growth journey from when I had this little bit of hair to up to like the beginning of January I did not have a trim I went a whole year without getting a trim because I wanted to see how long my hair has gotten over a year and then I trimmed it like maybe the end of January I just a pinch like like a tab like literally I didn't even do like I mean like a tab bit just because my hair was growing it was freshly new it was growing from the scalp and I was maintaining my hair throughout that year so I didn't have a lot of breakage my hair didn't break off because I didn't do a trim for a year and I didn't want to do that for me if I'm doing a big chop I don't want to cut my hair because I want to see where it's at and then once I've made it to the, my year mark I can decide how much I want to cut off okay a lot of people are different they want to do trims in between I didn't and my hair turned out perfectly fine it's healthy it's growing way longer than I honestly intended it to be so I like my method and I'm probably going to get a professional trim 
sometime this year and my trim was just like a pinch and please do not use any regular scissors or handcrafted scissors please use like hair scissors guys i got mine from my local uh beauty supply store to be exact hair shears please get hair shears for your hair do not be cut i see a lot of videos people cutting with regular hair and that will damage your hair that will break your hair off and your hair will be uneven okay me i'm not i'm not a hairstylist i don't know how to do people other people's hair i barely know how to braid to the scalp so i did a lot of twists and braid outs i also do make my own oil blends like i will take different oil essential oils like jehovah olive oil jamaican black castor oil peppermint oil you know any type of oils that you prefer i will just combine those and make my own oil and you know you, whatever fits for your hair a lot of people you know use tea tree oil as well like a lot of stuff helps with dry itchy scalps helps with hair growth and i also will recommend um do grow oil it comes in this like little gold ball stimulates hair growth oil i've been using that for a couple months and i feel like that also helps with my hair as well just because i wouldn't try to see what it would do to kind of maintain my scalp because if your scalp is not healthy and you're not detoxing your scalp or you know doing what you need to do that's where your hair comes from so how is it going to grow if you're not taking care of that part you can take care of this but if you're not taking care of that inside you won't see any tremendous improvement so that's really all i've been doing you guys i still sometimes can't believe like i look in the mirror and I got a whole puff full of hair like, like my hair is one of my favorite parts about me and what the favorite part that a lot of other people like about me like that's one of the first things they see because it's vibrant it's it's the well-known scene you know it's a visual appearance to people and it, I feel like it defines my appearance in a beautiful way you know not letting your hair define you but your appearance it's beautiful when you have something that you love about yourself that makes you glow makes you look happy and are you taking care of it taking care of your hair is just like taking care of your body and also please go on a healthy diet guys i'm starting this healthy diet as well and i've been drinking straight water for the past couple days and i can definitely see an improvement in my skin and let alone my hair because if you're not taking care of your insides your outsides will not grow so i've been doing that i've been trying to eat on a healthier level you know you don't have to intermediate fasting but just eating healthier meals throughout the day, guys, that's you, your body doesn't want all those toxic foods and, you know, fats and all that cholesterol type of food. I had to learn like, God, my body is horrible. I feel sick. I feel so bloated and I want to take care of my body. So I really want to stick to this and I want to start being able to understand what the healthy eating is like whether i'm on a diet or not i need to want to just eat healthy sometimes and it's okay to treat yourself out but not on the every monday through sunday you cannot so please drink a lot of water eat healthier foods and i promise you your body will thank you and so are your outsides okay and that pretty much clears up this video i just want to come in here and check in with you guys on my one year update of my hair growth and oh here's a pool for you guys <laughs> um yeah so it's it's definitely growing um please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl's channel i will be back with another video i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>